Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Welcome to my another video on Android app development So guys in this video I will be showing you how to create a, a scanner app in Android studio okay basically we will be doing uh, we will be developing the document scanner app using Android studio so let's get started so first of all let's open our Android studio and let me create another project and here I can name the project as my new okay, my tutorial okay and I will click on next next and finish all right guys so once it is finished then we will be developing our scanner app and I will be using the scan uh, the scan api library okay so i will show you step by step and it will be a very easy project okay so guys if you have not already subscribed to my channel please subscribe okay programming experts so here we have this error so basically it is my sdk problem okay you, you will not find this problem okay so let me just remove that and let me go to first of all maximize it and then go to file project structure and click on app and then click on dependencies and click plus library dependency right app compact okay and here we have to click okay all right so guys here we have this whole project ready so what we will do is first of all we will integrate the scanner library okay so how can you find the scanner library let me show you let me open Uh, scan library all right all right guys so here we have this uh, scan library okay so using this library we will be able to create the scanner app okay it will also have a cropper uh, a cropper activity which will crop our uh, document okay and after that we will be using this uh, uh, library to use as the scanner okay so what you have to do is first, first of all you have to download it okay download zip it's uh, 149 mb so as i have already downloaded okay so where i have let me show you let uh, view show desktop icon okay so here we have this scan library okay so uh, after uh, downloading first of all what you have to do is you have to check your build gradle version okay first of all go to your build.gradle and here check this 2.3.3 i have okay so first of all you have to open this scan library and after that you, you have to click this build okay and you have to change it to 2.3.3 same like this okay this is the first step okay and after that what you have to do, have to do is you have to delete this uh, dot gradle this folder this folder okay one two three four okay so you have to delete this for otherwise your uh, project will not be synchronized to your okay so you have to delete this after that what you have what you need to do is you need to check your compiled sdk version okay if it is 27 and build tools version okay so you have to check 27 27.0.3 okay so here you have to go to app and then you have to click on build okay so here you have to change it all right 
so in this case we have this 21 so i will change it to 27 27.0.3 all right save it now that you have this okay so let me delete the cradle files okay so we will delete it after that you have to go to scan library and here you have to click on build okay and here also you have to change the compile sdk version and build tool, build tool version all right so now what you have to do is uh, open your android studio go to file and here you have to click on new and import module okay you have to click on, on import module and after that you have to open the module where you have uh, downloaded it okay so in in my case we have the users Harun and in here we have desktop okay and here we have this scan library and we have to click on scan demo example okay you have to now click on okay and here we have click finish all right guys so now the uh, synchronization is finished so now what we need to do is we need to first of all go to files and click on project structure okay and click app dependency and you have to import the module dependency okay here scan library click ok and click ok Alright guys, so now the synchronization is finished and we have successfully added the library to our Android project. Okay. So now what we can do, first of all, let's change it to relative layout. And let me remove that. And now first of all, let's have the camera permission. Okay. The second one will be right external storage and third one will be read external storage all right these three will be the permissions and after that we have to design our layout so first of all we will let the user to either they can choose an image from gallery or they can start the camera okay activity so what we can do we, have, we need to have two buttons okay So here we will have gallery and here we will have camera all right so whenever the user will click on on the gallery button okay so now uh, the gallery will be opened and the user will, will be able to choose the uh, image okay and after that we can have we can scan the, the document and we are uh, uh, before we crop it okay so now what we can do is we can initialize some uh, methods so we can say uh, void open camera all right and we can have public void open gallery okay all right guys uh, i will we will continue in our 
part 2 of the video series okay so if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye